What's going on, y'all? This is Czar. I want to do a, a quick video uh, talking about Dither in Studio One. Uh, I've had a couple people ask me, do I use Dither? And uh, how do you use Dither in Studio One? Uh, what Dither is, is Dither is low-level noise uh, that's added uh, to your mix when you export it uh, to help reduce quantization errors. Uh, for the, I'm not going to do a go in depth about uh, dithering um, in the description I'm going to put a link to an isotope video that does a really good job of explaining dithering uh, I'm just going to basically show you how to use it in studio one so you, if you go to preferences under audio you see already checked by default is use dithering for audio devices and audio file export so what that means is if dithering is needed when you export a file, Studio One will automatically add dither for you. Uh, if you want to uh, use your own dithering, uh, for example, uh, the Sonox Oxford limiter, uh, you see here we've got different uh, dithering options. Uh, you would turn, you would uncheck this in Studio One, and then you'd set your dithering here on your uh, on your master fader and uh, your master track and uh, from there the dithering uh, will be applied uh, dithering when you dither um, everyone should be recording at 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 least 24 bit now um, studio one can do 32 bit float uh, but in the year 2014 nobody should be recording in 16 bit anymore uh, however if you record in 32 bit or 24 bit uh, by the time you get your music down to a consumer level, whether that's a AIFF file for a CD or an MP3 file, uh, both of those are at 44.1 and 16-bit. Uh, so if you record it at a higher sample rate and higher bit depth, uh, you'd be reducing it down. And that's where dither gets added uh, from the process of going from a higher sample rate and higher bit depth down to a lower 44.1 16-bit uh, sample rate. And... Uh, bit depth, uh, but there you go. It's just a quick video showing you how to use Studio One uh, dithering. It's dead simple. Like I said, it's already on by default. Um, very simple. If your track needs dithering, Studio One automatically apply it with that option checked. And uh, if it doesn't, Studio One won't. All right, catch y'all next time.